Amen. Did you come to celebrate with us tonight? God bless your heart. Amen. Amen. We always believe in the of prayer. God said that his house would be a house of prayer. Amen. Amen. So we're so honored on tonight, our 14 year anniversary. We're honored, first of all, to have you here tonight. Amen. We don't advertise. We just, the ones that come, those are the ones that we want. Amen. And those are the ones that get blessed. So God bless your hearts. We're going to go on and open up in prayer. We're going to ask, we have a uh, 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 visiting pastor with us on today. And we want to uh, have him open us in prayer. So show some love for Pastor Jackson. Amen. 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 I'm proud of it. 
God. Amen. And it feels good to give God praise. Amen. It feels so good. Praise. It's, it's good for your spirit. And it's good for your soul. Amen. All, 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 all we got to do is get past the flesh. Because the flesh don't want to give nobody praise but itself. So if you can just put those hands together anyhow, catch your feet anyhow, oh, God will give you something real. Feel. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. We just come to give. We're just so honored to be here on tonight. Just to give God a, a hallelujah praise. Uh, this ministry is celebrating 14 years. Amen. It's 14. I got some 14-year witnesses in there.
I know what I'm talking about. Holy Ghost! Why are we now, this is a different generation. You know, when we were growing up, most of us, when we was growing up, we heard about the Holy Ghost. Amen? We don't hear about, how come we don't hear about the Holy Ghost no more? What's up with that? What's up with that? We need the power, amen? The Holy Ghost is the power of God. Amen. 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 We're not going to be before you long. We got we got a lot to do tonight, and we're going to try and fit it all in. But there's there's this one song that just reminds us.
And then, so we stayed there on the corner after she moved her ministry. And this young man, I remember you coming out. Stand up. This is a minister right here. Amen. And can sing. And can sing. And then God started sending ministers. Amen. Minister Samuel was one of our early ministers. Amen. Raise your hand and do something. <laughs> and him and his lovely wife came and started joining us. And before I knew it, it was an organization that would come called Disciples on the Move, Sister Marilyn, amen, and, and Minister Terrell, amen, used to stand on that corner and stomp and stomp and so was Pete. He didn't even have to touch nobody. They just started falling, amen. And then, okay, then uh, they started constructing a building so we no longer had access to the sidewalk. We used to sit our chairs out on the sidewalk. There was a ministry over here just the other night, and they had their little white chairs out. They had their little food. And I just looked at them. I said, dang, that's how we started. <laughs> I miss being on the outside. Of course you remember. And, um, and then all of a sudden, uh, they started construction with the building and the organization that we were with, World Share, they left. They pulled out on us. And so God told me then, we went about two months not knowing where to go, what to do. God told us to come and connect with this church. And I didn't know how to connect. I said, well, I don't, we had never been even down the street, you know. And so after eight years, we had never even been down here. And so I came, they remember they had the, had the karaoke ministry. Yeah. The karaoke ministry. I said, well, I can connect. God didn't say how, he just said connect. So I came to the karaoke ministry, and this is where I met Pastor Tony Stallworth, the pastor of this church, and Sister Lucy Stallworth, and God just mesh, started meshing us together, amen? So the reason he wanted us to come in, first of all, God don't tell you to stop doing something until he's got somebody there to replace you, amen? And I'm looking around and I see a lot of people on the outside now. But the reason he told us to come inside, because he said so that the people who are now serious about getting to know God can be uninterrupted, like not having cars going down the street, and so for all of you that are here on tonight, you were ordained by God to come inside. God knew that you would be serious about God, that you wouldn't mind coming in and getting more than just a plate of food. So can you give yourself a hand for being here with this ministry? We got some faithful the young ladies back there. You remember when we was on the corner. Amen. I see a lot of faces of people. My sister right there. I see a lot of faces. And then we have the people who, who we met after coming to the ministry. Yeah. Brother JR. Yeah. Amen. Brother James. Where are you at, Brother James? Where are you at? Yeah. He's always nowhere to be. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Where are you at, James? There he is right there. He hi. He don't want to be recognized. And I thank God for Brother Marshall. He's been with our ministry since we were out on the sidewalk. Amen. We have traveled. We have taken our praise team all the way to Gary, Indiana. Amen. We was, when, they, when they had that uh, young man that got shot seven times by the police at uh, Kenosha, Wisconsin, we simply left from Gary and Ann and went there to go and just, you know, praise God and let the community know that the family in Los Angeles was standing with them. Amen. And so we're so honored on tonight that you came on such a special night. And I want to give an opportunity for the ministers. There's a lot of ministers in the house. Amen. Not just over here. There's a lot of ministers in the house over here. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You know if you call. You know if you got the call. Hello. You, know. you know if you got the call. And so while we're waiting for the men to come, God has blessed us with some mighty women, Sister Marilyn. Amen. She ain't playing with it. Amen. And we have a, 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 a visiting pastor, Pastor Jackson, is here. Amen. Let's show him some love. Now, my birthday was last week. I know it is. I know it is. <laughs>
Enjoy! 
young man, amen. A young man that God sent to us, amen. And he's in the house tonight, but this young man now travels all the way from Michigan to come here. And he comes faithfully once a month to come. And so we're going to get a God blessing from him, amen. Hallelujah. Come on, let's show some love for Minister John. Let's show our deep those hands together for Jesus. It's been a great celebration. Keep the praises going. Lift up his name right now. Say hallelujah. We love him. We love you. We love him. The Bible says that everything that has breath, praise the Lord. You are not here by mistake. You are a part. You are called to be here and you are blessed. So get your praise on. for 
tonight. Amen. And just, you know, he's been with our ministry since. I feel like he's been with us from day one. Amen. He stood with us on the corner and preached and preached on the corner. You know, it's not easy to be outside doing this. Amen. But so that's why I just want to acknowledge, amen, someone that has been with us almost since the very beginning. And um, he will probably tell his own testimony is to travel all over Africa and India. And I used to tell him, I said, well, why are you flying to Africa? You passing us by. <laughs> and God, I'll let him tell his own testimony. But can we show some love for him? Evangelist Terrell. Amen. Come on and show us some love. Test one. Test one, two. Yeah. Glory. Glory. Come on, if your hands right now, we're going to worship the Lord for a few moments. We're going to worship the Lord for a little light with the Lord that told you what people told you and focus on God tonight. He's all going to get you out of what you're dealing with. No one else can get you out. No man, no woman, no drug, no nothing but God can only one can get you through. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And Father, we thank you right now in the name of you. I pray, oh God, right now, we wish your not upon this place afresh right now in the name of you. Lord, you are sinning away now. You are sinning away now. To my Father, all of us in this place right now in the name of you. Lord, bring in the chain. Bring in the shackle. Lord, in the name. Bring in the fellow right now. Bring in the addiction. You're in mind, you're in the heart tonight, in the name of the Lord. Those coming out, take a trip out to the space right now, in the name of the Lord. We're going to plug up, tell out, in the name of the Lord. Lord, right, move by your mighty power, in the name of the Lord. And God, we buy your powers right now, in the name of the Lord. We have no power, we have no authority, because it was shining, it was sweet, it was keen, it was light, it was weapon, it was right now, in the name of the Lord. Those coming out, take a trip in the space now, in Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. It's good to be back down here again. And it's been a while since I've been here. And, you know, I, I, I've been messed up for 20 years with a drug addict. And uh, not in this state, uh, in, 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 in Tampa, Florida, and sitting in the street, eating out of trash cans, and eating out of dumpsters, and sitting in abandoned houses, and sitting in the woods. And, Nobody wanted to do a forward dose of cocaine and they were trying to take my life. Yeah. But it's been 20 years now, I'm free. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, if you ain't been where I've been, you don't, know what, you don't know what I'm talking about. Hallelujah. But somebody didn't know what I'm talking about because you're in that place right now. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then three years ago, I went to Country Angel Doing Crusade. That's why I'm like this now. I came home and I was on, on the freeway. My car broke down. I got in to get some help. And I was walking on the freeway, and the devil got into a fool about hit me and left me for dead on the freeway. And left me thought he had killed me, but I'm still here. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Any kind of way the devil can try to stop and shut your mouth, he'll try to shut your mouth. Try to stop you and do what God called you to do. Yeah. But tonight, I want to talk to you about Acts chapter 3 tonight. It's about a man that was sitting in a place year after year. She's been here 14 years, down here ministering the gospel. And some of you still sitting at the gate. Yeah. Hallelujah. You ain't got an amen, I put me a bill in there, man. Hallelujah. Acts chapter 3, verse 1 says, Now Peter and John went up to the place together, to the temple at the hour of the hour of prayer. The ninth, the ninth hour was 3 o'clock in the afternoon. They were going to a place to get connected with God to get power to help somebody else. Let me help you out. In order for you to get free from what you're dealing with, you got to get connected to a power that's able to get you free. See, drugs have power, but there's nothing limited power. It's limited power, but God has true power that will break in the chain, break in the shirt. I don't care how long you've been there, how long you've been there. God got power to free you up tonight, but you got to make your mind and get back to God. Because God's the only way to bring you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A certain man will lay from another room. Was carried when they laid down at the gate of the temple was very beautiful. And to ask them, ask arms for, for those who entered the temple. Now, he said the gate daily, asking for something that they wanted, but not what they needed. Right. You spend much time at what you want and no time at what you need. Right. Y'all ain't talking to him right now. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, Hallelujah. <laughs> because what you need can destroy you, what you want. And the story of what you need to bring you out. We spend no time with what we want and no time with what we need. And I said, I said, I had today about two o'clock to see the rock here just walk by. 
is walk by, is walk by. We for something that they want, but they're not what they need. It's right here tonight. The power of God, the Holy Ghost here tonight to bring you out, to free you up tonight. But you gotta make up your mind that you want to change. The problem ain't the drug, the problem ain't the alcohol, the problem ain't the woman, the problem ain't the man, the problem is you. You the problem. The devil put it out there, you wouldn't have got it, but you thought you could handle it. But when you got it, you thought you could handle it, now it's handling you. Y'all ain't saying nothing here right now. Hallelujah. Verse 3, and who said Peter and John are about to go into the temple and ask for arms? And fix his eyes on them. John, John and Peter said, look at us. So he gave them his attention. Expect to receive something from them. He, he was expecting. See, God's trying to get your attention. Yeah. Every time you come to what he said, he's trying to get your attention. Yeah. And, and I said about how some people come out and just give you a bag of food and go on down the road uh, and fill your tummy. But when I'm talking about the real food that you need, uh, the way I'm keep you, you don't keep going back to the same way, doing the same thing over and over again, doing the eight foot shuffle, eight foot four, and eight foot back. They ain't nothing changed. Another year's coming out, but by the end right now, and you're still sitting at the gate. How long are you going to sit at the gate? This man has been sitting at the gate for over 40 years, sitting at the gate, asking for something that he wanted and nothing that he needed. But Peter John said, Look at us. God said, Look to him. I can fill your faith. He's the one that's able to bring you out. He's the one able to heal your mind, to heal your soul, restore you back to your right place. He's the only one that can do that for you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Looking to get something, overcome his pain, yeah. overcome his hurt. Look for something that man, man don't have the answer to your problem. I've been A, B, A, D, A, C, A, F, A, every hand in hand, and I kept going back to what I came out of. When I got to Jesus, when it rose on the third day, no problem was falling. Oh, death breaks your sting. Oh, man breaks your vision. You know what you're going to bring out of what you're doing right tonight? No one else, nothing else. Hallelujah. It said in verse 5, and Peter said, Silver and gold I do not have, but what I do have, I give you the name of Jesus Christ, and I will rise up and walk. The only way you're going to get up from where you're at, you got to come to Jesus. you got to come to him. he got his hand out. we are looking to you to step into that place because the knobs and doors on the inside. you got to look the knobs and let it come in. you got to open the door and let it come in. The worst, the worst thing you're dealing with is pride. P-R-I-D-E. But the worst thing to pride is the P-R-I-D-E. You already there. But the worst part is I. It came from pride to you, sir. It's an I, sir. That's the problem. If you got to deal with the I. It ain't the door. It's an I. you got to deal with it. And it's going to help you overcome yourself. All right, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he took them, took them. By the right hand and lift him up. And immediately his feet and ankle bone received strength. So he leaping up, stood and walked and entered the temple with them, walking, leaping, and praising God. Now he is now, the been a decade over 40 years sitting there, doing the same thing every day, all day. Well, the way it was, huh? but not what he needed. Huh? But Peter and John said, We're not going to give you what you want, baby. We're going to give you what you need. Huh? We said, We ain't got no silly gold. These silly people, they're going to call them a trivial game. Because you got a new car, a new house, and all these new things and fashion. They get caught up in that stuff. But some of you the same stuff, but you ain't got it now. They think you probably still found something in your mind about what you have. But trivial things can't do. You can't pray to your car, you can't pray to no house, you can't pray to no man, you gotta talk to God. He's the only one that's able to bring you out. You know your upright and your down set, you know your thought, you know your upright and your down set. You come in your path, you line that and you pray to all your way until you get to God. Ain't nothing gonna change. I don't care who you go to. If you ain't coming to you, you going the wrong way. Hallelujah. Right. Um, he was leaping and praying to God, he was happy. He was free. When God freed me 20 years ago, I was so glad that I'm free. I have some money in my pocket now. I know where I wake up at. I can go in my refrigerator. I can live from my own bed now. I ain't got to live in no abandoned house. I ain't got to sleep in no junk car. I ain't got to go in the woods. I ain't got to go in the dumpster. I ain't got to go in the trash can. And I ain't got to worry about OD. If I would get my OD in the hood, I don't want to be in the Holy Ghost. I don't want to anything. But I don't want to be in the Holy Ghost. I'm going to be all right. Hallelujah. Verse 9, and all the people 
saw him walking and praising God. Verse 10. Then they knew that it was he who sat begging arms at the beautiful gate of the temple, and they were filled with wonder and amazed at what had happened to him. Now, verse, drop down to verse, uh, verse 11. It says, Now, as the lame man who was healed, held on to Peter, and the lame man was healed and held on to Peter and John, all the people ran together to them in the porch, which is called Solomon's of Court. Bring your baby to help you out with that. If people ain't going the way that you're going, then let them go. You know, listen, let them go. Let them not turn the light. Huh? Because people ain't going the way you're going. Before you get to the where you're going, you'll get before you back down. But sometimes you can be strong and the hell is coming all power, but you ain't got the power to do it. If I don't stay before God every day and stay in the word of God every day, I'm not going to make it. I can't afford to go back. The back go back is over for me. And some of you tonight, this might be your last chance to get right with God. Time is running out, y'all. Yeah. Or maybe you're down in the pandemic, but you're still here. God ain't through with you yet. Some of you should have OD, some of you should have been shot, some of you should have been killed a long time, but God got a plan for your life. That's what you're here now. You're at the end of the road, you don't know which way you're going to go, but if you look up, he's the one that's going to bring you out. Thank you, gentlemen, for the first prayer. And he said, so when Peter saw it, so when Peter saw it, he was fighting to the people. Me and Israel, why do you marvel this? As why we look so intended at us and through our own power. Come on, say power. power. Come on, say power. power. Our God is our God of religion. We are made this man to walk. Hallelujah. But it says in, in Acts 4 and 10, it says the same Jesus who you crucified. If you might have God from walk, and nobody can get you up from the gate but Jesus. Uh, now I don't even want to sit at the gate. He's been there for 40 years. And so you've been sitting at the gate for a long time. But it's time to get up from the gate and start giving God praise. Start giving God glory. You don't need to do it. You don't need to do it. You don't need to do it. You don't Hallelujah. The Bible says, Live with your head on your gates. You know what you have to do? Let the king go and come in. Who's the king go? The Lord stole him out. Mind him out. Well, live with your head on your gates. You know what you have to do? Let the king go and come in. Who's the king go? The Lord of hope. He's the king go. He's the top of us. He's the lion of the tower too. He's the bear of the lion. He's the living war. He's the man of the devil. He never done his deeds. He's the chief of the star. He never done his deeds. But you got to go and get to the bed and say, Lord, I'm going to get up from the gate tonight. The night's my night. I'm going to rise up from the gate in the name of Jesus. But God got all power. I'm 
thought I had it going on. I thought the world was a sinner from the stage, not the sinner of the country, but I found out I was being pimped by the devil. You thought you were being a player, you were being pimped by the bigger pimp it is. He's pimpalicious. He know how to play you. Hello, somebody. He know what to send to you, how to pimp you with. Because you know if you put it out there, you're going to go get it. And when you go get it, you think you got control of it, but it's going to control you. And Jenny would hear him tell him, I know. I was like, I take one hand of cocaine and put it down. I took one hand and I said, man, this is it. This is the thing here that was a set to take my life. But God, but God, step in and said, no. I got something for to do. I done been all around the world preaching the gospel. And I ain't done yet. But what God called me to, I'm still doing it. I'm not using what I went through to sit at home and it was both with me. I ain't on the narco, I ain't on the cotton, I ain't on the back of the end. All that was a good dose of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Quit playing games with your life because you're going to lose. Yeah. Yeah. You can't be the devil in his best game. The best schemer, he's cutting, he's cutting, he's telling, he's stealing. Of all the beasts of the field, you can't beat him in his game. Yeah. It's time to give it up. It's time to give it up. I said it's time to give it up. Give up what you want and get what you need tonight. Give up what you want and get what you need. If that joke ain't no good, give it up. If she ain't no good, give it up. Whatever it is you give it ain't let go. We need to let it go tonight. All right. Hallelujah. 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 How long are you going to sit at the gate tonight? So you've been sitting at the gate for a long time. Doing the same thing every day, all day. Ain't nothing changing. Same song, no tune, the same beat, ain't nothing to it. All day, every day, every day. And you know what I'm talking about? Nothing good. Nothing to help you get up from where you are. Now I come and tell you, something gonna help you get up from where you are tonight. Yes, Hallelujah. 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 Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't look at me, look to heaven, and close your eyes and talk to God like that. Rabako Shabakashi. Y'all are praying the Holy Ghost right now. Get ready to follow God. Go hit this room right now. Go hit this room right now. Don't hold back. Let it go. 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 Let it all out, 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 let it all out
Amen. 